Hey everyone, Jeff Sari here. Part two of your path forward to zero stress leadership. In part one, I talked about emotional triggers and how to deal with your uh, challenging negative uh, energy that comes up in the face of the specific situations that happen for you in your role, in your leadership. And so one productive action though, we talked about negative uh, actions or unproductive actions like complaining, sarcasm, gossip. Uh, one productive action that I teach and coach is the ability to give and receive feedback, okay? So the feedback model I'm going to show you is an action you can take to potentially make change in your, in your world. And I view feedback as always constructive and, and or appreciative. It's never destructive, right? So we don't want to say something to tear someone down. We actually want to give somebody feedback to build them up to give them uh, a, a leg up, a chance to stand up, to make some change that you see that you want, you know, that you want. So, feedback model is uh, start with appreciation. It's a five-step model here. One, two, three, four, five. Start with appreciation. I like this because even in conflictual situations, I start off with appreciation. Uh, you know, asking people to take a deep breath and look at this other person, find one thing that they can appreciate about this other person that they have serious conflict with. It never fails, right? Uh, and in fact, I build appreciation into all my meetings, most of my meetings. Um, I'd say probably 95% of my meetings have appreciation to them because it's sorely lacking in our lives, in our work teams, in our organizations. It's the number one uh, issue that I hear is, you know, I don't feel appreciated. So even at the top level, so appreciation, so start with something you appreciate specifically about this person. Uh, specific behavior, what are you trying to address with this person? Are they tardy? Do they submit reports late? Uh, are they, do they have a negative attitude? You know, are they not performing something in their role that they need to be performing, you know, they could get better at? So, you know, get the specific behavior that you're trying to address. Next is describe the impact on you, your team, or the organization. So, for instance, giving reports late to you might impede your workflow or getting to the auditors on time or whatever, right? There's an impact for this behavior or else it wouldn't be a frustration for you in the first place, right? So, you know, you want to describe the impact of this person that this specific behavior has on you or the team or the organization. And then you want to make a request. You know, obviously if the report is late, you want to try to tell them hey, I need this report by Fridays at eight, okay? And so there's the request piece of it. If you don't have a request, you could say, so what are we gonna do with this? You know, or do you have any ideas? You can put it onto them as well and kind of collaborate on a solution, right, to this issue that you're having. And then the last one, and I'm gonna tell you in part three, listening. You deliver this feedback statement, so I appreciate you, here's the specific behavior, here's the impact, and here's the request. But now you need to listen. What do you get back? Do you get back, wow, thank you so much. I didn't realize it impacted you so much. Or do you get defensiveness? Well, I don't do it. Johnny does it. I don't get, you know, reports from him, so I don't get it on time. You know, that's where the listening comes in, is you need to kind of be able to calm yourself down and listen to the information that you get so that you can collaborate with this person for maximum benefit. Okay, so there's the feedback model at a glance, top level. As I said, this five-part series is a top level a way for you to de-stress yourself and make the change in your organizations that you want to, that you want to do, okay? And so if you like this video, share it, uh, post a comment. I'd love to hear if this is useful, how you, how you uh, use feedback, how you receive it, you know, is it, is it helpful? So thanks so much. Take care.